Tesla said all people everywhere should have a free energy source. He said electric power is everywhere, present in unlimited quantities, and can drive the world's machinery without the need for coal, oil or gas. Many people have linked what he said to the idea of harnessing zero-point energy. But in many ways, electromagnetic waves from the sun, forming the potential for solar power, could easily fulfill Tesla's dream. We have enough photon energy from the sun, striking the surface of the earth in just one hour, to deliver enough energy to power the world's economy for an entire year. This video is going to put forward the idea that Tesla's potential for unlimited quantities of electric power is based on one universal process that includes all potential energy sources from potential zero-point energy to the potential for solar energy and even the potential for gravitational energy are all based on the same universal process. This can be explained with just one equation representing the dynamic geometry of the process with energy equals mass times the speed of light squared therefore we can create unlimited energy the only drawback is the radiation formed by such energy will deform and kill all life in a new theory called quantum atom theory this is because high energy radiation breaks the symmetry that all life is based upon but in a universe of continuous energy exchange of continuous movement it should be possible to create energy without this harmful radiation this simple diagram highlights the continuous connection between energy and time and how Heisenberg's uncertainty principle works within an individual reference frame the more we know the energy the more uncertain we are of the time and the more we know the time the less certain we are of the energy therefore if we lower the energy the faster time will run in an individual reference frame and the shorter the time period relative to this the momentum becomes less and the movement or vibrations become less within a larger area of space therefore the position becomes less uncertain within a larger area of space in this way the rate that time flows is linked to the area of space forming the curvature of space-time this can be seen if we lower the energy in an individual reference frame all the way down to absolute zero at absolute zero this process is happening over a large enough area to be visible to us the light photon oscillations or vibrations that form the movement of electric charge and the flow of electromagnetic fields will stop the electromagnetic fields will lock together and there will be no electrical potential within that individual reference frame there will also be no gravitational potential within the reference frame in this theory this is because gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows as soon as this energy increases photon oscillations will form the movement of electric charge and the flow of electromagnetic fields and over a period of time the object will free fall towards the greatest energy or mass with a built-in potential uncertainty of momentum and position therefore we can see that the electrical potential the gravitational potential and the future potential of the object's position and momentum are linked by one universal process even when the object is not moving there is still continuous energy exchange continuous movement because of the wave like nature of space and time if our eyes were more sensitive to the light we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously the atoms interact with the light waves forming rainbows of color relative to their own energy or momentum this forms a process of continuous energy exchange 
that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. The atoms of the hand and eye will collapse the waves of light into photon energy just like any other object, creating their own reference frame. In this theory, it is not just beauty that is in the eye of the beholder, but creation itself. The absorption and emission of light, or electromagnetic radiation, forms a process of continuous change that we see and feel as a flow of time. Time is an emergent property formed photon by photon, forming the forward momentum of light, or electromagnetic radiation. This is explained mathematically by the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, of quantum mechanics. This probability function forms Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, representing the same uncertainty we have with any future event. This creative process is universal, so even the lowest possible energy level, we have zero-point energy. The vacuum of space is filled with zero-point electromagnetic radiation, that in this theory represents part of the process that forms the flow of time, creating the curvature of space-time within an individual reference frame. The fabric of space-time can be visualized as having zero-point energy at every point in space and at every moment of time, forming the beauty of harmonic motion in our everyday life. This forms an infinity of possibilities, and if we calculate the energy, the result is a calculation of infinite zero-point energy within any finite volume of space. In a universe of continuous energy exchange, continuous movement, it should be possible to use this zero-point energy, because at its root this energy represents the infinity of the creative process that the symmetry of life is based upon. For this to be possible, time and space, or space-time, has to be an emergent property. In physics, space-time is any mathematical model that combines dimensions of space and time in a single continuum. This geometrical process can be represented by just one equation, with the Lorentz contraction of space and time being placed between the energy and mass of Einstein's famous equation. This represents a universal process of continuous energy exchange, or continuous creation, with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the energy of each object or life form. We have electromagnetic waves as a continuously varying vector field, and when the waves come in contact with the atoms, they are constrained to certain energy levels with the future unfolding photon by photon. In classical physics of our everyday life, the same process is in play when waves are constrained in certain ways like pipes or instrument strings forming harmonics. In this theory, creation is in the hand and eye of the beholder as a process of continuous creation or energy exchange. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.